Hi, I'm Kai, and today we have a look on the plug designation of devices. There is a very common failure of users or manufacturers who provides data for the ePlan data portal, for example. When you have devices like frequency drives or safety relays with multiple terminals drive on it, you need to set the plug designation on the right way. There is a difference between PLC device connections and normal device connections. What we also have a look on is the function template in the parts management and how to make there the right settings. So stay tuned. Let's start here with this uh, safety relay from PILS. That's the Knots Multi. And you can see we are here on a multi-line drawing. And this device has here four connection points. So when we have a look on the first connection point, we can see that this connection point is a PLC connection point. And this device has multiple terminal stripes here, like this is the X4, or when we add also others. You can see there is an X1 or X4, X4, X2, and so on. So that means we need to make the right setting here. And for PLC connection points, the right plug designation is done in this field. So this is the X4 connection point designation 5. What some users are doing is instead of doing that here, they use this field here, display device tag. And what happened now is, so you see it here, that you create a sub device under minus A1. Let's have a look in the device navigator what happens there to get a better understanding. So we change here to the device navigator and click here, control S to synchronize selection. And you see now that we have a sub device. So minus A1 is our PNUTS multi and we have the sub device minus x4 because we set it to the device tag and you can see that also this device tag is taken over from the on the right positions on the, the connection points you can see five and now because this number six has the plug designation here as well it's minus x4 x4 you can see it here it's minus x4 x4 so this is the wrong way to do it the right way is for PLC connection points to set the plug designation in this field. Now we have a look again in our device navigator and we see that minus A1 has just X4, uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8 as connection points and not as a sub device. So this is the right way for PLC connection points. Now have a look on a normal device. So therefore we use here the frequency drive. You can see that frequency drive has several terminal stripes, X1 for the income, X2 for the outcome, and here the digital inputs on X12 and the analog, uh, the digital outputs on X13. Let's make an example here on the X13. So we also click Control S to see uh, what happened in our device navigator. And here you see that we have all these single device connection points. And here we have X13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What happened now when we change it here? So first of all, um, this is a device connection point and not a PLC device connection point. And therefore we don't have here the uh, plug de designation. The plug de designation for device connection point is here. So this is something what confuse people sometimes. And here is X13. So when we delete it here or when we cut it and paste it here, the same thing happened. We create a sub device and also here in our um, device navigator, we create a sub device and it also takes um, the, the X13 for all the other connection points. So I set that back, I delete it here and add here X13. And now we have a look on the number two. So it is not necessary to enter the plug designation here. It also takes over the plug designation from the left connection, as you can see here in the device navigator. Anyhow, many manufacturers added several times. Um, that means when you change 
for example, now here the x13 to, uh, I don't know, x17. What happened now is that here in the device navigator, we created a connection, a device connection point x17, 1 and 2, because here on 2 is nothing in the field of um, the plug designation and the connection point 3 has the plug de designation x13. Why is here still x13? The reason for this is that um, in this macro, when you go to the display tab, it shows the supplementary field 11 here and 11 or 10. It was 10. Here is, is this one instead of showing the plug designation. So this is something what is, hmm, in my opinion, not the right way. So I would here um, change it from the supplementary field 10. I would change it to the plug designation. And use this. So <clears throat> now we have x1 and x2. Uh, now we have x17, 1 and 2 here from the x17 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 from x13. Basically, I change it also back to x13. And now let's have a look in the function template. So when we go here to the device on the tab parts, jump into the parts management. And here we go directly to the tab function template. You can see that the connection point designations are defined here. And for instance, you have the connection point designation one several times. And this is something what would create a fault message in ePlan and makes it impossible for routing of the wire, for example, to find the right position if you have not an additional designation. And therefore we have here the plug designation. And here is the plug designation. And that means when you add it here, it's a unique connection point here. This is x11, and here you have x12, 1, and here you have x31. So this is the right way how it works. Do you know any manufacturer who provides macros with the wrong plug designation? Please write it down in the comment if you have further question about this topic. Also, please write a comment. If you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.